irked. And Midna? Have you turned into an ambulance? That's not a good idea. Thanks for luck, Midna. Hey, Greg. Nice chest. Nice bat. Hello, Squidwee. Thanks for the luck papers. You going? Thanks for your seven lordy on. Howdy. Oops. Appreciate it. This is just for funsies, Liz. Uh, Nimzo's... Nimzo said in his uh, stream title, tell me if you want to race, and I told him that I wanted to race, so he said, let me finish this. Now we're racing. Yep, I definitely won't, Zilly, because I'm not going to do more than one run today. Hey, little tart. And thanks, Javier. Who the hell is Boost? Thanks for the luck, bots. Oh, I will squiggle. I have my helmet on, too. Got my fire extinguisher ready. I am prepared. Oh, thanks, Lord Enon. Appreciate you doing that. Definitely did not harvest enough. Thanks, Morgana. Uh, I forgot to take the iron boots off. <laughs> right. <laughs> probably do that. Oh, yeah, I hope you learned something, bots. Uh, because the Shadow Beast has two different kinds of attacks, and one of them works for giving you a super jump, and one of them uh, basically doesn't. Technically it can, but apparently it's very difficult. I don't know, I've never tried it with the other swing. But yeah, if it's a, a good swing, if I get good RNG, then I go for it. And if not, I don't. Oh, that's sweet, Greg. I'll give you time to go and get the marshmallows. Uh, we tentatively plan to start racing at 12.30, by the way, so just be a few minutes. Ah. That was closer than I wanted it to be. Yeah, 12.30 in 11 minutes. No, you don't, Squidly. Just have to move east a little bit. Well, it's not Wolf Dash, but it's not at all friendly. We're going to be talking shit about each other the whole time. Yeah, you got it right, Greg. Oh, I meant to review the... <laughs> I meant to review the backup for this before doing another run, and I uh, didn't. I'm just gonna not mess it up this time. Should be fine. Now you better not look behind you at any point, Orcrest. Uh, uh, um, there we go. 
Uh, that was interesting. I can smell it from here, Orcrust. Oops. Banning Nimzo, capital D colon. No, don't ban Nimzo. I mean, you could, if you wanted to, as a joke, you could ban, like, Nimzo, but not Nimzo 9. Nimzo 9 is the important one. Wow. Banning Nimzo. Can't believe it. I'm I'm just I'm pressing B too early. I can do it again on this health. Do it one more time. That's not even great practice, really, because the rock's not there as my visual cue. Yeah, just an odd way to phrase it, I suppose. <clears throat> oh, my nice splits up. capitalize the R? Hold on. Yeah, it does. <clears throat> Thanks, guy, but downstairs. Bad luck on being snow. Yep, on being snow. Never mind. Yep, snow. I don't remember what my mem files are, but they're probably useful. Yeah, that's that's a point. The instant open. Wow, Cass. Oh yeah, this thing. Uh, I, I'm stupid. I pressed B twice to skip the cutscene instead of start. Maybe I should have warmed up a little bit more. Thanks, Cape Bat. It's windy out. You live at the top of a mountain. Oh, yeah. I walked a little 
little too far right. Need to come up with a better visual cue for that. I'm kind of just going on feel right now. Thanks, Spicy. Good luck. Oh, are you are you uh, playing? <coughs> Thanks, Will. That should be. What? Why is that not good? Why did I do that? Oh yeah, people, it, it doesn't matter what like, experience level you're at, you definitely need to practice to do well. And I don't practice nearly enough right now, because, like, the only reason I'm running any percent right now is because of Wolf Dash. That barely worked. Um, and, like, I'm spending all my practice time working on the glitchless tasks, so I'm hanging by a thread here. Yeah, Nims have PB today. Yeah, I am, bots. Oh, Rayfin, thanks for resubbing. What, didn't you just resub, like, a few days ago? And thanks for the gold. I just... <laughs> I guess I have to assume that guy is coming over and just release the spin attack. Whatever, I don't... I'm not gonna practice this anymore. Doesn't matter. Uh, I mean, no, I'm hanging, um, by my bread. Nah, <laughs> you, you misheard me. Alright, easiest trick. No, before is a little better. Uh, if you pull the bomb after the cutscene, then you end up having to wait. Like, uh, if you pull the bomb after the cutscene, and then, um, what am I doing? Oh, yeah. Uh, and then, like, do the uh, the four Shadow Beasts really quickly, then you'll go too early before the bomb has exploded and killed the other one. And then it won't work. So yeah, y you're missing out on a roll, but you have to wait anyway, so that doesn't actually matter. No, I haven't tried the EMS thing. I don't remember who said it, but I... It, maybe it was G's. I kind of agreed that, uh, like, if you're going to do that, you might as well just go for fast EMS. And I haven't learned fast EMS. I don't know. Maybe it's easier than fast EMS, and that's not true, but... Don't know. Uh, well, we we're going to start racing uh, now, actually. Hey, Nimzo. Good timing. Oh, when do you want to start? Fast EMS? Uh, I, I really don't know enough about fast EMS to, to say anything intelligent about it. I don't know. Oh, a race time? I guess I could make a race time. Actually, can I make a race time? I'm not like a race time mod. I don't know how that works. I can? Okay. Yeah, sounds good, Nimzo. It would require streaming. Oh. 
Wait, TGD, aren't you a race time mod? Can you make one real quick? What is that Keck W? <laughs> okay. Sure. I kind of want to start um, doing CO transform there. It does save time, which makes this a little more awkward. And this is why it makes it more awkward. This is ex the perfect example. Like, I wasn't actually sure that he had stopped yet because if you CF transform, his shadow disappears. <sighs> uh, okay, I guess I'm not going to do that. Oh, you made a race room? Thank you. Uh, Nimzo said he needs a few minutes, Cass. Nims or, uh, yeah, look at Nimzo's head turning right. Look at Link's head, okay. Yeah, I'll give it a try. Oh, that means I should stop doing the combo the way I do it, because the way I do it is specifically to make the camera turn around. Oh, you should be good to start the race. I didn't understand what you were saying. Okay, let me boot up the game. Yeah, I didn't quite cut it fast enough. But... Notable Cass underscore. He was joining too? Okay.
Yeah, this is going to be a blindfold at 10%, right? That's a joke. It is not. Turn on eye can. I'm going to put cans on my eyes, could we? That'd be really tough. Good one, Greg. I think the punchline was supposed to be Forna Fish. This isn't... Oh, man. Well, I know Wind Waker is. It's got the Yorka 500. <clears throat> All right, I'm readying up. Yes, well, I've always got Anarakis cam on. I never do a run without watching Anarakis. Um, you can be kind of stuck in the gate, but I don't think you can ever really be permanently stuck in the gate. I think, uh, I think you can always bonk out eventually. Thanks for the luck, Matt Lald. Staying clipped. I don't know if I've actually seen anyone stay in there for a long time. Except me. But I'm sure other people have done it. You're gonna have to prove that, Cal. Greg, do you want to start a band called Dire Strats? <laughs> oh shit, the race time started. Uh, wait, I should have actually been ready. I think I'm I think I'll be okay. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> Every good song is about installing appliances. Thank <laughs> you. 
No, you're not really supposed to hear anyone, Squidward. I decided just not to VC today. I am listening to the VC quietly. But also, I'd be very impressed if you could hear Nimzo. He never uses mic. Yes, Nimzo is in the room with all of you. Hey, haha, -ha, PhD. Hope your birch business is going well. <clears throat> By the way, if anyone wants to watch uh, everyone in the race all at once, you can type exclamation point race and then go to spectator view on the race time. Actually, uh, that wasn't the end of the command, TGD. I'm still saying the command. I haven't finished yet. No, I mean, uh, we're mostly racing with, well, I think like half the people yesterday were European. So different time zones. Nimzo just finished school. Yeah, it's the, the race time link, exclamation point race, DK Jr. That's true, I always go to the bathroom when I'm a peon. Nice peeing. Uh. Dude. That is such dumb RNG. Oh, wait. It moved? I don't know how that happened, actually. Alright, save it. from ATGD. It's because I hired them with more benefits. <clears throat> you gotta be able to bring something to the table. Thank you. 
Fuck, I hate that so much. Completely my fault. At least he didn't duke me more than once. I feel like I'm doing a really bad job of text mashing today. Uh, Arjun, you don't need to say hi to your channel points. They're just there. What the fuck? Is that seven? I think that's seven. All right. I can't mash. Holy fuck, dude. I don't understand how that mashing was so bad. That, that I, I should have, that Iron Boots time should have been like 15 seconds faster. Yeah, apparently. My hands are getting jealous. I really should just sit down and practice my mashing again sometime. Oh yeah, thanks TGD. Oh yeah. Yeah, I should just update to 1.0 before it comes out. Don't do it. Okay. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> wow, it's Thanksgiving already. Why did I do that? That's not how I do that anymore. Yeah, thanks, Dylan. I think I'd have trouble not doing that.
<laughs> I didn't know you were Turkish, Squidward. Dylan. Yeah, there's a call. I'm just kind of listening to the call quietly. But I'm not in it because I just felt like interacting with chat today. I do always feel kind of bad when I'm streaming for hours and like barely responding to anything anyone says. Turkbert Gobblestein. Yeah, I like the calls too. It's nice to hear everyone venting. What color bird is Sapphire? Hello? Hugo. <laughs> Budgies. <laughs> Thanks for the luck, O Blinky. Tell the Catnons I say meow, they'll understand. Yeah, Echo, the, that question is fraught with, I think, multiple misunderstandings. You probably just want to watch that video that TGG just linked, or Nightbot just linked. That will cover, that will answer all of your questions. The very short answer is that they're comparing to two different things, the two columns are.
Oh, I... I'm really glad I didn't get another bad swing, because I would have died. I did not know I only had one heart. Thanks, come on. Yeah, well, I could. No, no, it's definitely your pet bird uh, celebrating the fact that I got first try EMS. I was just trying to confuse you, Renegade. Yeah, Nimzo PB today. 15 seconds. What would you do with a soy Renegade? A soy replica of yourself? You know what? Scratch that. I don't want to know the answer to that. Eat yourself? Yeah. Understandable. Thanks, Mega Scott. Nope. It's all for me. I already took it. Sorry. What if it's sentient, but likes it? Uh, if you're talking about a mirrored version of what I just did, Feral, then, then that would be equivalent. There are a few equivalent options.
Me too, 13, 13 done. I'll be asleep by the end of this one. Taking a nap. Welcome to the stream. Yep, it's nap time, everyone. What? No, that's fine, Dawn. Everyone says that. Yeah, this is one of my favorites. Yeah, I'm waiting for someone to come in and actually say, you you suck so much. I always fall asleep to your runs. It's randomized, Dawn. You can call the command once a day and try to get to 100. Someday. <clears throat> I sucks. I should have streamed this race on Schmewildeschmeest. See you wild? I'm just gonna claim that. Oh, I didn't get the, uh... I didn't get the roll stab there. That was weird. Yeah, there are a few tricks speedrunning this game I use a metronome for. Uh, only one is in any percent. <coughs> uh, this might be good. Uh, uh, um, I shouldn't go for that. That might have been possible, but... Come on. Oh, 
the Deveroni. Greg, do you often see people exposing themselves like that? Expose. Oh, uh, sorry, Ardu. Well, you're a mod. Can you change my title to include all my chatters, too? Uh, we have a command for each of those, Don. Fuck! Motherfucker! Just do the fucking trick, man. Yeah, there was a, a long period where no one was counting. Yeah, they really should go back through all my VODs and count them. At Arju. Dude, I'm my text mashing is so bad today. <laughs> I don't know what you mean, Don.
There are Twilight games. Pog slide, pog slide. Oh yeah. That felt ridiculously late. Both the past two times I've gotten Gorge Void, it, it felt like I pressed the button so late. I really should practice Gorge Void again at some point. Oh yeah, I got the blue rupee, that sword and shield skip. That's why I'm so rich. Okay, let's not fail this for an hour again. Should be fine. Uh, tch. it's like the hardest part of the new route is getting on that box.
Yeah, gates are not their forte. And forts are not their gate. It's grass. This guy gonna no, this should be fine. Okay, that's very bad. All right. <laughs> Grab the fucking carg, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Why did he miss twice? Okay, let's try that again. This should be fine. Oh, there it goes, like a minute. I started speedrunning a few years ago. I uh, saw a GDQ run. And I thought it looked cool. Actually, I remember distinctly thinking, this guy must play this game a lot. I was wondering if that was intentional. Well, I'm sure you spelled someone's name right. There's probably been an Albert Eisenstein. Well, I don't know. Eisenstein isn't really a name. Yeah, I suppose. Um, Arju, uh, that's not an Eisenstein. That's an Eisensteiner. fight just that was a huge time loss
Yep, your time to shine, Spar Ryan. What? Okay, that was weird. is a pretty bad Elden so far. It's unfortunate because I'm going to be reviewing this segment for someone after this race. In case anyone's interested, I'm going to be streaming that like I streamed the other review. This segment. Elden. I can TGD. I can analyze your Death Mountain RNG. Uh, why did I think you could skip that cutscene? Have I ever done this segment before? That's right, Dixie. You compare your volcanic rock falling RNG. One rock at a time, frame by frame. Thanks for the luck, Cheesy. Yeah, TG. The amount of time it takes, ultimately, for the big rock to fall is RNG. Probably when you ask me for one, RG. Nice shelf bug. Uh, um... I was trying to find a place where I could jump attack. I was going to grab the pot.
what? <laughs> wow, that was terrible. Oh, come on. Whatever. Obviously, I would say terrible. I'd mean it. Badamjas. Whoa, I got the instant tier collect again. I think I just need to jump later than I normally do, because that's what I just did. Like, I usually jump slightly too early. Yeah. Thanks for the big chop, H. All right, this could be the one. No! No! I got stuck on the wall. Nice, cheesy. Got any big plans? Damn. Shouldn't have gotten stuck on the wall. No, this is not worst record pace yet, but it could become worst record pace. <laughs> Master bait. I'm sure you can if you want to. That's a really good point, Mega Scott. Thank goodness for worst record. Oh, Orchest looks like you've already mastered bait. Oh, no. Nimzo. What? Yeah. Nimzo had trouble with the holding a thing. I really... We should figure that out at some point. Some people have trouble with the holding a thing, and I've never had trouble with it, and I don't know what the difference is.
Really? Dude, I haven't failed that in a very long time. That sucks. Oh, right. I can tell I haven't failed that in very long time of how clumsily I'm doing this. No, I wanted to target the other guy. Holy fuck! <laughs> yep. Yep! Yep! I... don't even know. That's like 40, 45. This is not Wolf Dash. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yes, this is Wolf Dash. Do I want to know what you mean by that?
<laughs> well, did you go check it out? You said that bug was nice to me. It's a pretty good shirt. Yeah, that is a pretty big time loss for Lanayru Twilight, of all things. A bedtime story? Is everyone ready for bed? You all have your pajamas on? Yeah, Renegade, at least coming isn't in Butts County. Uh, once upon a time in the land of... Oh, there lived a wolf that loved to howl. All day long, the wolf was saying, Awoo! Awoo! Whenever anyone asked the wolf a question, the wolf would just say, Awoo! The wolf's mother asked, What do you want for lunch today, little wolfie? And the wolf said, Awoo! So the wolf's mother fed the wolf uh, another wolf that was going awoo. But instead of eating the other wolf, the two wolves became friends. And then they were both saying a woo all the time. Well, this happened a lot of times. And soon enough, every wolf in the whole town was saying a woo all the time and keeping everybody awake. How did that not side hop? What the fuck? Um, 
And so, uh, the wolf's neighbors called the police and said, Sting, can you help us out? And he said, uh, wait, uh, what does Sting say? I don't know, he's like, Roxanne! And the sound of Sting saying, Roxanne! Drowned out the awoos, and everyone was unhappy forever. The end. Good night. Enjoy your lurk, Cheesy. How's the race so far? Really bad. As in my run's really bad. The race is fine. <clears throat> Nimzo is probably going to catch up to me soon. He had a really, really rough first segment. Um, Arju, can we please not discuss race in chat? Hey Vlad, thanks. No, are you fu Come on. Can't go up this segment now. Purple friend was being too friendly. I always forget that means I can't pick a pull up bomb there. Excuse me? You want to pull out the sword when I press B next time? What the fuck was that? <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Yes. Excellent segment. Yep. I don't trust that at all. And I... Excuse me? I literally feel like I'm losing control of my controller. I'm actually gonna unplug my controller at the next load zone. Plug it back in. I'm... it's probably all me, but that felt ridiculous. Cool! Yes. Good. Wow, I really hate this run. Thanks for the luck, whale. Isn't that cool? I think I've heard people theorize that before, yeah. Since the sky cannon is here too. Maybe City in the Sky is right above it. Who knows? Oddly enough, I don't remember ever hearing anyone theorize before that the reason there's a lake at all, like the reason that there's not land there, is because the city in the sky was raised out of that... that hole. This should be fine. It was. that kapow kablammy yeah this is how i'm launching my uh zelda fan theories channel take that you know what you did rj Saved it.
Well, that wasn't the worst cutscene. See you, McKeegan. Still the same empty lake Kylie wrote. Thanks percent. Really? I thought that was gonna work. Sucks. Ideally, but it doesn't always quite make it there. Motherfucker. <sighs> I can't play the video game. They've quit the race. You'll just have to get a perm then, H.
Oh my god. Well, I can't go for the thing anymore. <sighs> I should have see up. Uh, cool. I fucking love it, man. It's like I've never played the video game before. Yeah, I kind of don't want to continue. I will. It's a race. I changed my mind. I really don't want to continue. But I will. No, I don't. If it weren't a race, I would have reset just then. If I hadn't reset already. Try to stop this streak of losing 30 seconds every segment. Would be nice. This is an extremely easy segment. There's, there are not very many ways I could lose 30 seconds. Let's see how I manage to do it. Reset combo decided not to work. Not sure what, what I did wrong. Maybe I wasn't holding start firmly enough. That's about five seconds, just 25 more to go.
Your neck. We're tied. Nice. Not for long. Uh, you can watch both at once if you want to. You go to the race time and click spectator view. Um, I should get health, but I won't, because that would cost time. If I fail freezer at skip, I'm uh, kind of fucked. All right, so I'm apparently two seconds ahead. And I failed freezer it's good. All right, Nimzo wins. I uh, kind of just want to stop. Like that's I, I'm playing so poorly right now.
Now, I'm not saying I want to quit because Nimzo is going to win. I don't care about that. I want to quit because I am playing so fucking poorly. Not fun. It's not discouraging to see how well Nimzo is playing. Quite the opposite. seconds.
Yeah, there's not at least one Moldorm incident. It's not an Arbiter's Ground.
I always do that. I'm gonna go correct. I know you spoke Dutch age. Woke up at the wrong time. Should have slept in. Okay. Oh, this is really bad. This is really bad. This is even worse. Today was not a no reset day for me. Interesting pattern.
Very bad. It's like 15 seconds. Maybe 20. Closer to 15. I could have fit a third roll in there. Thanks, Madame Jo. I have, yeah. <clears throat> Just yesterday. plans to do one. Could happen. I don't know. Never know what I'm going to wake up feeling like doing a rando. Yeah, we'll see how I feel about it after I've done it some more. I feel like it's probably only too tedious if you reset, like, well into a run often. As opposed to just at the ends of runs.
Yeah, oh Blinky, that's what I'm using. You look slow. Thanks for the luck, Fulcorn. No, it's not that hard. I'm just bad. something. I kind of wish I had an extra heart, though. It means I can't gold city. Well, theoretically I can. I'd have to go really, really fast, though. Boss skip? No, it's not new. It's like two years old at this point. Huh? 
<laughs> Can't even gold the segment. Incredible. Should have been free. Really, really bad. Oh. Uh, I flow, L flow, thanks for the raid. Hope your stream is good. Thanks for the luck. Not sure I'm gonna finish this race. Ah, I see. Yeah, Nimzo PB today. His current run will probably not PB, but his next one, that'll be the one. Hey, Nymph. There was a span of a few hours where we thought French might be faster, but yeah, it's not. I guess it was, depending on who you ask, it was hours or days. Yeah, English uh, is about two seconds slower than German, as is French, with the new thing. Well, new. Not actually new. The thing we now know about. It basically doesn't matter, as long as you're not playing on Japanese. Japanese is slower. But theoretically, not even that much slower. Yo, Brandino. Basically, French doesn't need to get rupees. Uh, whereas everybody else does. Come on. No, oh my god. Stop. Oh my fucking god. Need to cut my controller cable. So it basically doesn't come down to, like, rupee RNG so much as where rupees land and reacting to that.
Um, no, Badamja, you're doing it correctly. I, I kind of switch between the two. I, I tend to do what you do, pull claw right after pressing C up, but occasionally I'll just like feel like switching between the two because it's, it's basically no difference. Um, just a few frames. And then sometimes I'll very intentionally do the other one, the slower one, just because it makes it easier to see. Oh yeah, I hadn't realized that, Nemzo. That's a good point. Well, it's not like PAL discs are like reliably slower than NTSC discs. If that were the case, then maybe. As far as I understand it, for any given person, their PAL disc might be faster than their NDSC does. Oh, I need to not die. <laughs> Very intelligently not dying. Dude, I haven't gotten that one framer in so long. Yep. Holy shit. Hey, Harvey. At least our alpha skip is fast. Two oh six thirty, Nimzo. You're still ahead even with the bomb excursion.
hold this segment either. Always nice to get that out of the way right at the beginning. No, it doesn't, but Andrew. If you're pulling an item in first person, like to aim, uh, it doesn't matter whether it's already in your hand or not. The only reason I do it is to remind myself which half of city I'm on. On the first half, I pull sword there to get ready for the uh, Baba, and on the second half, I pull claw. It just makes me think ahead a little bit. How that worked, but I'll take it. Well, okay. I don't understand why that happens sometimes either. I know what you're talking about. Like the times it randomly fails. Um, the reason it happened just now is because I didn't press the right direction. I'm pretty sure that like it felt wrong to me. I think that was just me fucking up. But yeah, it, it does happen a lot there. It, like, it tends to happen in certain places. I'm not really sure what they have in common. I know why it... Oh, for fuck's sake, dude, play the video game. I know why it happens um, during the Enter Lake Bed setup. It's just not holding L long enough. but I don't think it's quite the same thing in other scenarios. I'm sure, it's something similar. Man, I'm... This is... I'm just so annoyed today. Some days I can go through a run playing like garbage and not really mind that much, and today is not one of those days. Feels bad. I 
almost five seconds. The Flappy Morphe. Lost 15 seconds. Atrocious. Yep. Just want to confirm that I cannot gold my light sword segment. I fucked it up within the first five seconds. That'll teach me.
used to be so raven. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, I'm failing the present Z apparently. Real fucking cool. Yeah, I find it to be more useful. Find it too 
you know, hit the shadow beasts more often, which is the point. I guess in theory, it's probably faster to throw it midair, like if you're certain it's going to hit the Shadow Beasts, because it would hit them sooner. Unless that's too soon. I think I've lost a minute. I don't actually know. Yeah, never mind. Just making up numbers. I'm losing 30. Oh, that feels so bad. He did renegade. He called me names. Specifically, oh. it's the worst thing you can call someone in Twilight. Nice spin it. Excuse me? What is happening? What? 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 What the fuck was that? 
<laughs> I failed a spin attack. Sorry, failed an auto spin, then failed a, a second quick spin. Got a just a normal B slash, killed both of them, somehow went into C up. I guess like I was trying to turn the camera there, so maybe I accidentally was like slightly above left or something. And then bonked because of that. Looked like a task desync. Business. a lot already. Lost like five to seven. Cool. Oh yeah, there's something uh, new to me that I want to do in Hyrule. I have to look forward to that at least. Yeah, I was kind of worried about that. I'm pretty early. I'm testing the bounds of how early you can go on that one recently. I forget, does this take me all the way up? Far enough. Well, that costs less time than I thought it did. 
I had already lost... That was only like 25 seconds, the falling. I thought it was like 40. Aside from the Diababa phase RNG, that was fine, I think. I guess I got not the best RNG on uh, Angoro phase either. I lost almost all of that time to Diababa phase, that was so bad. Can't do it, Promoxy. Not my day. Uh, 
Uh, hello? What the fuck, dude? <laughs> I don't know what is going on with my controller. I, I've been having trouble pressing Z at all recently, and that time I got a double press? <laughs> I, I maybe should get a new controller. It might just be time. Yeah, I'm getting kicked by the butt this time. Oh, there's a, there's a little bit more flapping to do, H. You're not totally out of luck. I was thinking of the Aralfos, but I guess the Zelda kind of flaps as well. I think I'm dropping some frames, sorry guys. Hopefully the streamer can go down. But, huh? Okay, I'm never going into first person again now. I've never had that happen when I go in, uh, when I stay in third person. I was just going into first person for the memes. No. It's really hard to time that.
Neither Dutch gaming, dude. I was just screwing around. Cheesy. Better luck next time. Okay, I am absolutely going for Zelda Crash this run. I have powered through enough of this. Zelda Crash, it's a frame-perfect D-pad press, right as you start the Zelda fight. You get it right, crashes the game. It's not exactly something I practice, but it's not that hard to get either, so... Let's see if I can manage it. Well, I say not that hard to get. There's kind of a good cue for it. In the music. So this is the new thing I'm going to do with Jesus here. Makes Link put away the lantern mid cutscene so he doesn't have it out at the door, which saves a few frames. And I realized I hadn't been doing that because he does a different strat in here that actually uses the boomerang. But I realized that it actually works for. Uh, I'm stupid. <laughs> I was about to say it works for my equips too, and then I instinctively did the normal equip there. Um, I just equip claw with ball and chain instead of separately. Oh well. Got most of the way there. Oh, that's weird. I don't think I've tried it in Dolphin. That's not something I'd expect. Yeah, I made this video like a while ago. Uh, but Amgen, normally what I do is I have bombs and lantern equipped for the lantern puzzle. Then I go to the Dynalphos room and I use the bomb and I just do the throw strat like I just did. And then I equip Claw and Rang at the door. Then when I, I go outside, I Rang the Aralphos, then equip Ball and Chain over Rang. So there's still a single equip in there. So I basically just move the single equip. If I put Rang over Lantern early, then I can make it all the way out to Aralphos with Bombs and Lantern, or sorry, Bombs and Rang equipped, and then um, throw the rang at the Aralphos, then equip Claw and Ball and Chain. Thank <laughs> you. 
Optimal. Gotta fight him individually. Come on. It's like a lot of times this run that I've shot the claw shot and attracted it. No, wait, I... Whatever, I'll still go for Zelda Crash. I, I should have done it with that equip. Doesn't matter. Ah, oh, fuck. Missed it. Maybe I'll get a Zelda PB though. This will be at least a nine cycle. Yeah, I think that was late. I'm I'm honestly not sure how to tell whether it's early or late. I guess yeah, that probably was late, because if it were early then the boss text would have come up afterwards. I'm also not sure whether it was one frame late. It might have been more than that. Zelda heard I wanted a Zelda PB. It was now being nice. And yeah, believe it or not, I don't practice it. My Zelda PB is only a 12, which is honestly kind of embarrassing. I feel like I should have done better than that by now. I've had multiple 12s. Yeah, like, it's not that crazy to get higher than 12, I just, I never have. Dude. I want to practice the backup. And I keep getting good RNG now, doesn't make any sense. Why I did that untargeted? I just didn't feel like holding L, I guess. Uh, Wicked Gliger got 17 in a Moon Jump All Dungeons run. I believe it was Swift Ike who had a 16. Like, I'm pretty sure when I started running, um, the record was supposed to be a 15, but it was kind of, it was apocryphal. No one knew who got it or it was just like a thing that had happened. And then at some point I got a 16. 
So there was an actual known record. And then Glagger got a 17. Zelda cycles. Huh? <laughs> Wait a minute. He's supposed to do the same pattern every time. Why did that happen? I have never seen him turn there before. Like there, that was more reasonable. That, that is interesting. Wait, that was the third hit? Someone tell me I just lost count, right? That was actually, that was the third hit? I thought that was the second hit. That was the third hit? Okay, cool. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, GG Nimzo. Finished a minute ago. I haven't, f or wait, he can't hear me. Well, could not be done with that run soon enough. That was the fucking worst. I cannot believe how bad that was. Oh my god. Yeah, thanks for the G's. Uh, oh, right, I'm going to um, review an Elden Twilight. Yeah, Nimzo, I think so. I, I, I think I was just in the wrong headspace for it today. Like, if you want to do a, a, a morning race tomorrow or the next day or the next day or the next day, I'm down. No, Nimzo's not using a mic. It's intentional on his part. Presumably. Man, Nimzo would be so embarrassed if he finally figured out after all this time that he's, uh, his mic's been off this whole time. Cool, let's do it. Is 9 a.m. good for you? Is mayo good for you? I can't do a Patrick impression. Nah, it wasn't about the bad early game. I just, I've fucked up everything else. Uh, no, I, I should be fine with it. I don't know. I'll just I'll just tell you beforehand if I am not in the right mood to race, I guess. But 
Let's plan on it tomorrow. Please don't put your thumb up anyone's colon, Nimzo. Can't believe I have to tell you this. Oh, uh, I should use Dolphin and not console for this. There we go. Okay. Second monitor. I need to open Dolphin. Oh, yeah, I was practicing this yesterday. Let's see if I remember the setup. Yeah. Well, I remembered the setup. Just didn't do it right. I don't think that's going to work. reason people don't go for that. All right. Am I going to practice Zelda Crash? No. Put it right down there, colon, and here's another one for Ma? He's gone off the rails. All the world records have gone to his head. Okay, anyway. Um, uh, wait. Oh, there we go. That's what I want. Uh, is this audible? Wait. No, that's not audible. Why is that not audible? Um... One sec. Okay, there we go. This should be audible now. Could you hear that? Okay, cool. All right, let's take a look at Elden Twilight. Let's see what's up. Uh, so note number one, you shouldn't be loading a file at the beginning of Elden Twilight. Just want to take that down. Where? Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, it's probably on my end. Oh, I can try to change that. <laughs> one sec. Um, how do I change this? Oh, there we go. Wait, the audio is delayed? The audio should be ahead, I think. By 980. Wait, sorry, I'll have it in a sec. All right. It should be good now. Tell me if it's not, though. All right, so simulating, actually starting a segment. 
Very nice. And I already looked, you got a 655 on this, so that's pretty good. I'm sure it'll just be minor things to mention. Good course correction there. Yeah, the sword slash. If you do the sword slash, even when you don't think there's a keys nearby, you're guaranteeing that you're losing time. But it is a good, like, reliable way to not go too early. That was nice. Um, you don't have to go quite that far. It's so, like I'd usually stop. Well, if you go a little bit farther to the left here, and then basically end up stopping in right where Link is right now, but like curve around this way, then the bug that's behind you will land kind of over here. Um, and I don't know if that's actually any faster. You might want to like compare that, um, compare your VOD with someone else's, but you can at least kind of see what's going on. So that's nice. Might also be a little less movement, but I mean, the, the way you did it was fast. So I don't think that's really a problem. Just thought I'd mention it. Oh, you skipped the cutscene at the beginning. Didn't notice. Mine looks good. You don't need to hug the wall quite that much. Uh, the 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 um load zone is sloped a little bit. Like it's it's kind of angled this way. Not very much though. Uh, so you do want to aim for this side, but aiming like all the way into the corner like e even if you got all the way into the corner without slowing down by running against the wall uh it wouldn't actually save any frames like full frames over being like here um so like in this case obviously you ran a little bit too close to the wall and and got slowed down it, it's better just to play it safe over here like yes it does get you there later but not later enough to to lose a frame source I tasked it. That was good. Using the fourth dash there. I uh, like optimally you wouldn't use the fourth dash, but it's so much better for not bonking. Nice. I think I've been thinking about this lately, but I haven't actually timed it. I think it's probably theoretically faster. I actually, I can't remember from tasking it, um, to dash off here because that way, I think you get the same amount of height, but you'll have a slightly faster jump. So uh, that would mean that while you're falling, you'll actually land closer to the hole. I think that's true. I'm pretty sure that when I tasked it, I dashed there, but I can't actually remember. I should go back and check. Side hop is slow. I, I tested that when I tasked it. Well, okay, I'd have to see how Zach did it. The side hop, the way I was doing it, was slower than dashing off the top. Actually, sorry, I was talking about something else. I want to watch that again. So... Okay, so you did actually... You very intelligently there released the control stick so that you wouldn't have analog glitch after the jump attack. Um, but you still kind of played it safe by going way around to the side here. Um, what you actually might want to do... I don't even know whether I do this. But, um, but the way that you seem to be approaching this, what you might want to do is turn the camera... Like, use the C-stick uh, during this jump attack so that you can actually see where you're going up here. That way you can hug the inside corner a little better. Like, I'm not sure whether I use the C-Stick or just kind of have a feel for it, but C-Stick would be the smart way to do it. There, there are so many times that I've been, like, just I've just gotten used to a strap and then realized later as I saw someone else use the camera that I probably should have been looking where I was going. 
No oh, thanks for resubbing, expert. Okay. I think you might want to play around with this. I think you can jump attack or uh, attack. You can hit that bug a little bit sooner than you did. I kind of use the audio, the jingle as a cue. Um, here, let me just do it while watching you. Uh, yeah, I think I would have gone a split second earlier than that. So you might want to play around with that and, and make sure your cue is as early as possible. It's also kind of hard to hug the stairs, like the inside of the stairs, and, and go around the corners tightly, but it's possible to do... Like, it's it's pretty reasonable to do a little bit tighter than than you did here. I'll save a very small amount of time, and then don't need to go quite as 90 degrees here. So th that's basically the way that I do that room. I'd be remiss though if I didn't mention that it is slower by a little bit than uh, killing the bug, skipping the rupee, and standing over here, then uh, jumping off the bed to get a jump and catch the tear on the way out. Um, it's not much slower, and obviously it depends on what you want to do with rupees, which is why I get the rupee and don't do that. So, just want to mention that. And then, ideally, so this is actually, uh, th this area is different for the task because there's a lot of brake sliding that's fast in, in here. Um, but for RTA, it is a little bit faster to actually be attack off of this than to ledge grab, just because wolf ledge grabs are kind of slow. So you, you might have been going for that and just missed it by a little bit. Actually, what happened with your dashes there? That was an accident. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, you, you int okay, you didn't run out of dash. You just weren't dashing. So yeah, this is really awkward. And yes, you end up bonking there a lot if you dash here. But it's not too bad to build muscle memory for. Um, when I'm in this situation, I accidentally ledge grab. I basically dash and then immediately hold right. Um, and it feels like it's overcorrecting, but it's not. It's That's what you need to do there. And then that makes dashing line up better for the rest of this. You don't run out right at the end. Uh, also, you can take that corner a little tighter. Um, y oh, there we go. Uh, you can basically run like between the tier and the lower seat here and and still collect the tier for a slightly more direct path uh, also t i should mention i it is technically faster to uh wait is it faster to jump off the table i think it is faster to jump off the table i'm r i'm forgetting my timing here I think it's like slightly faster, but it's more awkward and I don't do it. It's like 0.1 seconds faster. It is faster, yeah. Faster to wait? What do you mean, Andy? That one, um, so, okay, there's something I do that kind of backfires sometimes because I don't pay as much attention as I should, but it's... I think it's still a good thing to know for situations like this one. I see, Andy. Um, so here, you can basically... Like, if you go at a, at a good angle here, you can dash... I'm not actually sure if you can dash on the first frame and still get a dash cancel. I think you might have to wait a couple. But it's, like, very early. You don't have to wait till you're right at the edge. But uh, sometimes what I'll do, and this is going to come up again in Death Mountain Trail... Um, when I'm approaching a ledge and like I don't know exactly how my dash is going to line up because the movement is kind of variable up to there, um, I will just press it. Like I'll do a dash cancel, A and then B. And then ideally, like the ledge, I'll get a ledge dash cancel. But if I don't, if I was slightly too far away, I'll still get a dash cancel. Um, so it's just kind of a fail safe just to make sure I'm still going fast, but I don't accidentally end up without a dash. So that's something you could do here, and like ideally you won't get the B attack, but if you do, it's better than uh, running out of dash. How was the race? Don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I mean, the race was fine. My run was awful. There, that's part of your review now. Oh, are you on French? Um, no, you're not on French. D do you do you run on French? Badamja? Or is there another reason you don't go for the rupees here? 
No? Okay. Let me just uh, show you the movement real quick. Obviously, this won't save you any time, um, at least in Elden Twilight. Uh, it, it is pretty easy to go for them, especially since you don't mind yellow. Like, there's no yellow text. Sorry, what am I doing? Uh, there we go. All right, uh, I guess I'll get the vessel. Oh, I already have the vessel. Cool. Whee! So you beat attack, you push it out of the corner a little. Oh, pff, sorry. I'm gonna blame all my mistakes on playing golf. Push it out of the corner. Oh my god. Push it out of the corner a little bit. Eventually, there we go. And then you can just be attack or jump attack these, dash over here, and it lines up perfectly. You have a dash. Get out of there. I'll try to demonstrate that one more time. Out of the corner a little bit so you can jump attack it, actually hit the boxes instead of missing them, and then. That. And you have plenty of time, so like you end up waiting over here. Again, sorry, that was not the best demonstration, but you get the idea. Uh, I don't remember, Andy. <laughs> That's a good question. Here, let's find out. Uh, wait. No, did I really? I can't turn on the timer. Uh, um, okay, let me try that again. Oh wait, no, the timer, I already had the timer. There we go. So, let's find out. Looks like I can input on 23. No. 24. 25. 26. There we go. All right, that kills the bug on 38. Oops. Oh, right, I need to press it for one frame. And B kills the bug on 36. B is faster. I know I've checked that before, but I couldn't actually remember. So there you go. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'll, I'll just show it again real quick, even though you know the answer. So A on the first possible frame. And that's a 26 speed jump attack. So that's why it's on. Oh, it turned on frame 38 before. That was interesting. 39 and then if you press b so i guess the thing about pressing b is that if you hold it for more than one frame you're you're hesitating but yeah it was a 36 so that saved three frames over the a attack also why is that a 40 speed b attack what the heck wait how did that happen i don't understand that anyway oh that makes sense Nemzo. but yeah they're different speeds Anyway, sorry for the bad demonstration of the rupee thing, but you probably get the idea. You, there, there's enough time there that you can go get those for free. Though, I sh uh, theoretically, you can push the bug further. So, yeah, I guess it doesn't... Well, <laughs> theoretically, 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 if you're a TAS, what you would do is push the bug as far as you can till it explodes, then get the rupees, then call Midna, and then get the tier on the jumps on the way out. Uh, don't forget to get the one frame or two. There's my advice. What is the best direction to come off of this? I guess that was probably the best direction, actually. I haven't thought about that in a while. I should, I should change to doing that. Interesting that you target on those. Is that from Wii? Is that how you do that on Wii? Target those to help your angle. Uh, you can dash really early after hitting this tier. Like it always collects really quickly because it's you know on the back of Link. Um, so I would recommend releasing L and control stick before you collect the tier so that you can dash right away instead of like worrying about accidentally back hopping or jump attacking or something. You also don't need to be that far back. I usually back up like a tiny bit, but I don't think you even need to back up at all. Hold on, let's check. I'll remember to share my screen this time. Yeah, that's a better line than I usually take. Thanks for teaching me that. 
<clears throat> yeah, okay, so I didn't actually need to... <laughs> that wasn't how I meant to do the movement. Sorry, one second, let me do that again. But I didn't need to turn it all. Yeah. Didn't need to move back at all, I mean. Test moving forward? Yeah. Let's do it. Make my save state here. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you can actually move forward. I didn't know that. That's cool. That's scary, though. Not sh God damn it. <laughs> I'm so good at switching back to the other one. Sorry. Yeah, that's, that's fast. I wonder how far... Actually, wait a minute. Where does the tier go? So it goes that way, but I think I assume it goes up a little bit first. Yeah. Yeah, it's up at, like a tiny bit. Yeah, that, that feels kind of spooky to me, but uh, it is possible. So, anyway, way for, farther forward than, than you were there. The bomb house skip. I'll just watch the whole thing and then comment on anything that I want to comment on. Alright, so obviously that was good. Uh, I'm just coming on a couple of things. Uh, so first off, a, a while ago I asked Nimzo to give me advice on um, Elden Twilight. And his advice for Bombhouse Skip was go faster. Um, and I will give you the same advice, because I think it's good advice. Uh, basically, between steps, you're hesitating like a little bit longer than you need to. And it, you know, it does add up. So at, at the very beginning, yes, you want to wait. Like, you don't want to be holding right immediately, but you hesitated for, like, half a second here. It could have been a tenth of a second. It really does not need to be long. I don't actually know the number of frames. but And then after that, jump attack. Hesitated for, like, a full second rather than half a second. Same, same idea. That was good. That was really good. And then the, um, the angle setup was really fast, too. But, like, just taking out those little things. And then also, Nimzo, have you messed with the way that I do, or, like, do you know the way that I do um, this movement? Because I've never understood the this that most people do, the dash cancel, jump attack up, and then dash over here. I'll show what I do, and if I fail bomb house, skip it's Dolphin's fault. Alright, um, I make a save state there. Also, oh, wait, do you... I know I didn't change the screen. Okay, let me also show you how I do that, now that I think about it. Um, the, the jump. So, I used to do it the way that you do it, just like, oh, whoops. Uh, okay, I guess I'm doing this again. Alright, so I got my angle set up. So what I used to do was cancel out, press A, and hold up at the same time, and hope that I did it correctly. And what I do now, I learned this from Sky, is use a B press to cancel first person, an A press to dash, and then or just like, and I'm rolling my thumb from B to A, so I might as well just roll it on over to X as well to turn on the senses, just like that. So I don't like the frame window for rolling from B to A. No, I, I did mean what you're talking about, Nimzo. I just came back to this as well. Um, and I, Oh, and obviously you're holding up the whole time. You can start holding up while you're in first person. So I really, I highly recommend this. I haven't failed the jump since starting to do that. Like occasionally doing it the way that you're doing it, I, I would just dash too late and, and run off. But like this is really, really nice. 
So yeah, this, you can just dash like around here. I'm pretty sure that's faster. You tried it and you're missing the jump? Okay. Well, I mean, I guess one thing to note is you'll always miss the jump if you're not back far enough on the railing. So just make sure that's true. But yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe your thumb doesn't like it. But yeah, let me just show this a few times. Or I guess I'll start on this. Sorry, this save state. There we go. So yeah, I, I dash forwards a little bit and then just dash back to the corner and just make sure that I don't climb. That's it. And it is a little spooky at first because you end up getting to the bug when it's closer to the entrance, but you can always you can always get it as long as you start charging at the right place. Just a few examples of that. And you can actually cut this tighter than I'm showing right now. This is how I do it in runs, but you can like do that. I just don't because it's risky. So yeah. Like, and I didn't, I actually didn't even switch to that because it's faster. I'm not totally certain that it is, but I think it is. Um, I switched to it because I hated the jump attack. Like, I'd always bonk. It was really annoying. Oh, yeah, let me see if you did that. All right, good. Oh. Watch something. Yeah, okay. So I only learned this recently. I had never thought about it until like last week or something. There isn't enough time to dash a, a second time here, as long as your line was decent. So when you're getting to this area, be ready to mash A and B, not just like A to try to get that last dash out right before the text. Um, I It feels much better to not be trying to get a dash there because you can't. Or you shouldn't be able to. If you can, then you curved a lot. Nice dig. Uh, I want to watch the line here one more time. Okay, uh, both of these... My grip for mashing text, I use both thumbs. Thumb on A, thumb on B. So I guess that's a good point. Maybe for that it would be good to do right hand index and middle so that you can keep holding a direction. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I feel like I have a really good sense of how long the text box lasts. So my left thumb gets back to the stick by the time it's actually over. But yeah, if, if you don't feel like you have that, it might be a better idea to just use one hand on both of those buttons. Um, so regarding your line here, uh, you can cut these sloped corners a little bit tighter. Um, basically where it looks like the slope starts, you won't actually grab yet. Can I get past the text? Nice. So you can go like across that much of the corner without climbing. And then same thing here, like that. Uh, one other thing, I did switch to share my screen, right? Yeah, okay. One other thing, oh my god. <laughs> Just kill this guy. <laughs> nice. Um, right, one other thing he here is I like to kind of flick my C stick, sorry, right at this corner. Actually, wow, it's not even a flick. I've never actively thought about this before. Um, just to like be able to follow this curve a little bit better. Like that. I find that helpful, but I guess like if you just get used to doing it this way, that would be fine too. So just want to mention that in case you like it. I did not win, haha, ha, PhD. I lost the race. So yeah, that could be a lot tighter. And then, yeah, that, that was a really good line. You do that well. This, so, Nimzo, maybe you can weigh, on a, weigh in on this too. I've had mixed results getting the bug to hit me 
that close to the corner. Like, I feel like sometimes when I get it that close to the corner, it'll just come over here anyway. So I might be missing something about this strat, um, but it seems to have worked for you here. That was really nice, though. The, the, the bug came over right to the exit. That was good. Nice one, Framer. So... Uh, okay. I think... No matter what... So you were, you were holding left notch here for your dash. And I think no matter what, whether you get the fast or the one framer or not, you don't want to be holding left notch there. I think you want to be holding up left. But let me double check that I'm not saying nonsense. Yeah, so like up left wasn't even a tight enough turn. What? What? Oh yeah, okay, sorry, I, I I remembered eventually. Um like ideally I think you're actually holding just left of up. Yeah. That'll get you where you need. I don't think you can reasonably like bonk on on this if that's what you're worried about. So as long as you're holding oops, left enough that you don't go to the right, you'll be good. And then, yeah, do left is way too far out here. Oh yeah, you can get the one framer holding any direction. No. Like you can dash holding directly the opposite of the direction Link is facing. He'll just turn as fast as possible. If I'm beside the bug, try to make sure I'm as forward close to the wall as possible. So it goes, okay, yeah, that's that's how I think about it too. But it usually doesn't work. I guess I just don't do it right if I'm that close. Nice side hop. Good wall hugging. Peepo friendship. Oh, yeah, let me see what you're doing here. Oh, yeah, that was good. Good lines. Uh, I have trouble with this, too, sometimes. Yeah, I, I hate dashing after that cutscene as well. I, I it is objectively awkward. Um, though, you know what? We're gonna test something. This is something I've wondered about before, and I don't know whether it's the same for all. Well, it's definitely not the same for all cutscenes. I don't know whether it's the same for all cutscenes that are like this. But I'm pretty sure there is a few frame delay after you have started skipping the cutscene or sorry, after you've successfully skipped the cutscene where pressing start doesn't do anything. So I want to check that, like how large a window that is. Let's get to the cutscene. Uh, I guess I'll just go with this. Uh, so did that successfully skip it? Okay, cool. So how late? Yeah, I think, I, I think that's right. So can I press start on 46 and it does nothing? Yeah, nice. I've got like 54. Wow, that's a long time. About 64. Okay, so there's like, I don't know, a 10 frame window-ish. I don't, I didn't get the exact number, but I also don't care about the exact number. Let's call it a third of a second. Um, so yeah, you could be like index, right index and middle on start and A if you want and just react to seeing the cutscene. Yeah, I think that's how I do it too. I should probably switch. But yeah, there's a little bit of built-in delay, so 
it's lenient, not accidentally pausing. And then what I was going to say is, this is, I struggle with this too sometimes. It's like, it seems easy, but I do it all the time by accident. Uh, you do want to get in the corner, obviously, for the quick climb, but you touch the corner, or like touch the wall a little bit sooner than I think you meant to, and lost a bit of speed. Rubbing up against walls does, uh, does reduce your speed a bit. Oh, interesting. I don't think I've ever seen anyone go around this. I don't know. I've got to imagine this is slower, but I don't know that I've ever timed it. So, okay, I should mention this. Um, Zach and Doopsie? Okay, I guess I've never seen this part of their runs. Um, optimally, you dash cancel here right at the beginning. Uh, and then, well, that's optimally if you're not like doing brake sliding, so you won't see it in a task. Um, you dash cancel right at the beginning, and then your dashes line up well or something. I don't do this because I found it awkward because of something near the end. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd really be surprised if this were fast. I don't know. I guess I can time it real quick. Let's see what we got. Wee. Right. Nice. Yes. <laughs> cool. I was resetting the timer. Alright. Alright. So make a save state here. That B attack. And then uh, I didn't pause it at exactly the right time, but uh, 446 the frame count. Let's go around. Uh, I shouldn't have jump attacked. I should have be attacked. Whoops. 445. Okay. That's comparable. Interesting. Uh, I, I keep missing the... the Frame advance button. 444, yeah, okay. Comparable. Good enough for me. Interesting. Yeah, same Nenzo. So, well, th this isn't a big deal, but you might as well be facing the right direction here. Um, you also probably don't need to be as far back as this, but I actually, I stay far back too, so I should, I'll just check that, check that right now, oops, oh, uh, okay, y you know what, maybe I will switch to this, so I usually back up there and then push the bug a little bit, but, oh, I didn't mean to, not yet, sorry, Back up, push the bug a little bit, and then let's not move forwards. Let's see what happens. Okay. Okay. Looks like I can move forward a... Okay, not that far. A fair amount. Wow, even that far. No. Okay, cool. So, like, uh, maybe, no, that was too far. Front paw on this black dot here. Like, this will depend on how far you can push the bug, but it's, I find it pretty easy to, to just, like, B attack it, then back up a little bit while targeting and then push it. I, I usually can manage to push it towards the ledge pretty pretty well. And then I instinctively back up, so I should learn from this too. Uh, oh, right, but the original thing I was going to say is um, you might as well be facing the direction you're going. It's slightly slower to turn. Slash, when you dash immediately facing the wrong direction, you're dashing slightly in the wrong direction.
Uh, yeah. Let, let me just watch the rest of this, I guess. <laughs> That's the strat. Uh, okay. So it's really, really helpful to turn your camera slightly earlier than you did here. Because the way you turned it, uh, you know, it prevented you from seeing where you were going until you were already too far to the left to make this direct line. Um, and then, yeah, okay, I think I agree with that vent dodge. You need to go around that. By the way, uh, look at the mini-map. See how the next area is loading in right now? Or actually, no, sorry. <laughs> right... Or wait a minute. No, it, it was that one. Right here. So when that area of the mini-map loads in, pretty sure, that's when um, the steam cycle begins. So mistakes from here until the stem steam cycle, unless you... Uh, um, unless you miss the steam cycle or like are late on it, then it didn't cost you any time. And actually, let me let me just double check that real quick. Um, it's pretty easy to do. Pretty easy. So this is before that transition. Does not look to be loaded in. And here is after. Oh, does not look to be loaded in. Okay, wait a minute. Where where does it load in? Or wait, am I just looking in the wrong place? Yeah, it's over there. I'm stupid. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me try that again. <laughs> okay, not loaded in. And then... Spicy, thanks for the raid. I'm stupid. I wasn't looking at the screen. No, not loaded in. Okay, so this loads in later than I thought. Is it like when you round this bend? Yeah, that's it. That makes sense too, because that's when you're going to start seeing it, so that's when the game needs to load it in. So anyway, anything between this bend and uh, the steam cycle doesn't matter as long as you get to the steam cycle, you know, early. And this, this set of steps is where, and, and the next set, is where I always do the uh, fail-safe dash canceling thing. Just, like, pressing A and B, whether I think I'm going to get a ledge dash cancel or not. Just in case I don't. And, like, here, usually B attack right away, so I don't get the ledge grab. And then, in a case like this, where you did spend some extra time on the steam cycle... I wouldn't... Okay, well, in any case, I would never go over to the right Shadow Beasts. It, I, I don't think it's worth it. Because, um, like, even if one is all the way to the right, like, you can just come out and get it. You're on the Steam Cycle. It's fine. That, that That's how I approach it. But, I, I, like, it shouldn't make a difference, really, as long as you do it well. But I guess in this case, you lost time to it because... Well, assuming you didn't make the Steam Cycle on time. You lost time to it because um, the other guy didn't come over, so it didn't do anything. Um, you said something about this when I was starting to review the segment. So I guess I'll just show how I do it. I don't think I'm the best person to talk about the movement down these steps, though. Alright, so like I didn't intentionally go over there, but that guy is chasing me, and this guy is facing the wall. But as long as you, like, when you're coming, uh, when you're coming around, uh, <laughs> from here, as long as you're, you have your eyes on the distant guy, you can, you can deal with any RNG. Unless, like, this guy is right where I'm standing, but he never is. Oh, for fuck's sake. So, like, if, if this were the case, imagine that guy's not there. I would just dash around this way, make him chase me till he notices me, and then you're fine. Well, obviously I didn't kill that guy, but <laughs> you get the idea. Yeah, I, I never, like, dash over here to try to get their attention. Early. Uh, 
So I think between all of those things, you probably didn't make the steam cycle. Or like, you weren't early for it. That was good. Like the CF strat. And then, yeah, you didn't quite make the... Ha! <laughs> Ooh, that jump. Uh, it, it's it's uh, good to do that jump. That was just... That was spooky. I think what I usually do... Nice, for fuck's sake. Glad you enjoy him. Um, no worries. It's just... I'm, I'm just reviewing someone's segment right now, so... Um, I think what I usually do here is hold, like, up... Just, uh, just above left notch. Or, like, maybe between... Here, let me do it and find out. Between left notch and up left. Um, and just mash A. Yeah, getting the dash cancel off the ledge is faster than jump attacking. Uh, make a save state. Yeah, so... What direction do I hold here? Not that direction. Oops. I don't know. I rarely mess this up in runs, but I don't really know how to describe what I do. It's like pretty lenient to get a dash cancel. Maybe I don't just like hold a direction and mash. Yeah, never mind. I guess I just have a feel for it. So you did fine. It worked. <laughs> Uh, okay, sorry. If the one in the corner is better to do what I did or better to walk yourself. Uh, okay, so I think totally optimally it's better... Oh, sure. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> sorry, that's like the tenth time. Um, actually, let me look at what you did before I say anything more. I, I think that's optimal. Optimal. I mean, it's it's hard to talk about questions of what's optimal here because it doesn't matter as long as you're on the steam cycle. Um, wait, you see Nimzo? I turned my Nimzo source on in OBS. Whoops. Um, so, I guess, yeah. The way that I approach this is if this guy is in the corner and he's not coming out, then I'll just attack whatever direction. Like I'll start be charging here and and kill him over here. It's fine. Uh, if he comes out, then I go around him and attack this way, just because I, I, I think I just prefer the camera for that, because I can just release everything. The camera will orient itself behind Link because of the B attack, and then I can dash out. <laughs> Live Nimzo feed. That was before our race. He had to get his Nimzo feed. But yeah, I think in general for Shadow Beast fights, if you're going like, for example, the Zoro's Domain fight. If you want to be perfectly optimal, I think it is better to um, to not go around it. It's just to get a really short attack on the way to it. Also, did you... I don't know if you're just like jump attacking there for fun. I assume you were, but just in case you don't know, this the portal cutscene, like every portal cutscene, teleports you somewhere. So it doesn't matter where you ended up. Please go to the bathroom. Just for fun? Cool. Uh, okay, I already watched this. I don't know why I don't do the CF strat anymore. I should. It's like optimally, it doesn't matter. But... Uh, that was like your line was a bit curvy here, but I don't really have anything to comment on. Just go straighter. Oh, ha! <laughs> okay. That, wow, you actually got the bug with that. That's amazing. <laughs> okay. Um. So let me just show you how I approach the last bug. It's different from how some others, including Nimzo, do it. So you may want a second opinion on this. Uh, whoops. All right, so I'll just make a safe state here. So that, and then, oh, I'm, okay. If you've gone fast enough, the card won't be a problem. I didn't go fast enough because I was demonstrating stuff, so I'm just gonna pretend I did. 
Or at least the card won't be a problem there. It can be kind of annoying later, but... Alright, so you do the little dash around here, and then you want to be attack a little earlier because it's being on the ground that causes the bug to start flying off. It, being on the ground within a certain area, if you uh, come, if you land way over here, it won't come off. But it's it's a big area, so. Oh. So we attack not that early, but early. And then what I do is come over here behind the bug, make sure to stop moving before the bug kind of settles on the ground. Hesitate for a split second, target it, two B attacks. Works every time. The charge attack I don't do because of things like the card sucking and targeting squeebles and stuff. But what Nimzo mentioned to me the other day is that if you do the charge attack, I guess it is more likely to push the bug or make the bug die over here. So you can more reliably collect the tier quickly. Um, you can still collect the tier quickly this way, though. If you do it right. Do that. Dodge the squeebles. And then make a save state here. So I went a little bit early there and didn't get the instant collect. Uh, <laughs> it's hard to tell where I am. In the, whatever. I've gotten the instant collect a, a couple days in a row. It is possible. Uh, if a squeeble's in the way... Oh, if you target the squeeble, we'll just press L again and target the bug. I don't I don't know which way is faster, honestly. I just I don't like the the uh charge strat because of targeting things. Like I I feel like I have less control. Like I don't I think optimally neither one is faster. I think they're equal because there's a period where you're, like the reason that I hesitate is that there's a period where you can't kill the bug. You can't touch it, which is true for a lot of bugs, right? So I started the attacks instantly there, and it just didn't work. It went right through the bug, even though it was there. So I think, like, I, I this strat, ideally, you end up hitting the bug on the first possible frame, and you can probably do the same for the charge attack. But yeah, that's, that's why I like that version. Yeah, and that's why I don't like that version. So I'll let someone else tell you about the other version if you want a second opinion. Um, in terms of how you handled this, let me watch it again. So yeah, the B attack was later than you needed, and then that sucked, and then wow, it worked. Um, and then... So what I would do in a situation like this, and this doesn't always work because, you know, it's a bunch of squeebles, but I would actually intentionally, um, like, move away from the tier while it's forming to lure the squeebles away so that I can get kind of close to the tier and then target without tar targeting a squeeble, uh, then try to get close enough to jump attack. Yeah, that's, I can't believe that one worked. A B attack? Yeah, that's a good point. That's That would be slightly faster than not B attacking. Uh, okay, any other things to go over? I feel like that was pretty thorough. A plus. <laughs> Thanks, Nimzo. I learned from the best. All right, cool. Hopefully that was helpful. Uh, yes. All right. I am done streaming for today. And it sounds like I'll be racing. What? I didn't get an A+. Plus? Oh, man. Shoot. Um, sounds like I'll be racing Nimzo again tomorrow, and hopefully I will not hate my run as much. We shall see. C minus?
Wow. Never reviewing a segment in front of Nimzo again. All right, here's your raid message. Marco's doing TP. Why don't I have that emote? Okay. All right, see you, everybody.